Hello everyone, I'm Manish Nameda from Team GS Racers, SGS ITS College, Indore. And now I will be starting this lecture series on ANSYS simulations for roll cage analysis. This roll cage model will be of FE cycle. So, first of all, let's discuss what is FE cycle. It is a three wheel tricycle chassis with tech pole configuration, which means there are two wheels at front and one at rear. It also holds all the essential assemblies like wheel assembly, steering assembly and electric motor assembly. The chassis should be designed in order to withstand high amount of G-force as chassis being important system absorbing all the static and dynamic loads. The structure must withstand the stress generated without much deformation. Software tool we will be using for this analysis is ENSYS. So now the question arises, what is ENSYS? Why do we use ENSYS? Let me take an example. Let's consider you are manufacturing a product. In the first place, you need to manufacture some prototypes of the product and test it for all the kinds of worst situations that could happen to hamper or damage the product. In some cases, you need to conduct few tests to optimize the material required, the design, the load, if any acting on the product. Prototypes. This would eventually lead to increase the cost to company. What if we do this virtually? Yes, ENSYS does the same. ANSYS uses certain inputs and evaluates the product behavior to the physics that you are testing it in. It typically creates the user an opportunity to create a virtual environment to simulate the test or working condition of the product before manufacturing the prototypes. This would certainly reduce the cost of producing prototypes and mainly the time. In this competitive world, the accuracy and the time are the most deciding factors for the company or the organization to sustain. ENSYS helps in increasing the accuracy and decreasing the time of outcome of the final product. So now, let's move on to our analysis. Let's start with the opening of ENSYS Workbench 2020. And this is the GUI of the ENSYS Workbench 2020. This is known as Toolbox which contains all the essential tools to perform an analysis. The Toolbox contains many tabs namely Analysis Systems, Component Systems, Custom Systems, Design Exploration and ACT. For this lecture, we will be focusing on the Analysis System and the type of analysis we need to perform today is the Static Structural Analysis. Let's drag it in to this project schematic window. You can open it either by dragging it or double clicking. And this is a static structural template. These rows are known as cells and this is the overall process flow we will be doing to perform an analysis. Move on to the first cell that is engineering data. This is actually where you choose all a type of material data or assigning material to the model you are going to use for your analysis. We have structural steel as a default or pre-assigned material. Over here, you can see the properties of the structural steel that is density, isotropic elast elasticity, SN curve, tensile yield strength. But you can change the material you want. Also, can assign more than one material to different components of same model. If you want a video to how to add a material to the engineering data, please comment in the comment section down below. Now we are gonna go ahead and close out. Now moving on to the geometry. Moving on to the geometry cell. In this cell, you can either create the geometry or import your own geometry in the form of SOLIDWORKS file or STP file. Now we could go ahead and import our geometry. Import geometry. Select the file. And as our geometry is imported, now let's move on to the next cell. Moving on to the model, we can edit the different parameters such as define the mesh, loading conditions, output results. Now right click to the model and press the edit. Start my mechanical 2020. It attached the geometry we imported in last step, and so this is the last process of solving the problem. 
Now, to get a green tick in the model, we have to satisfy these three conditions that is coordinate systems, connections and mesh. For coordinate systems, it automatically imports the coordinate system in the model and if you want to create it manually you can by clicking right insert coordinate system and select the reference area you want to apply the coordinate so now coming to mesh mesh is one of the most important thing in the analysis as there is a saying if you done mesh properly then it will solve your 50 percent problem now Meshing is just a tool using to divide the whole component into finite number of small elements as per requirement. Also influences accuracy, convergence and speed. In simple words, any continuous body or object has infinite degrees of freedom, which means infinite equations to solve. And it is impossible to solve infinite equations. So, meshing decretize whole body component into small finite elements that is infinite to finite equations and make it solvable then interpolate the results for the entire domain this was all for the meshing now let's generate the mesh before generating the mesh you can change the meshing quality like in our case we have set up it to coarse you can convert it into fine or medium you can also add the element size for here it is default you can add the element size according to your application of the analysis so now let's submit the mesh Now our mesh is generated, it is looking good and there is no error, as you can see, this is tetrahedral mesh, you can also change the quality of mesh to fine, to get more fine element and to get more fine mesh. Meshing basically depends on your laptops or computers, processor and your RAM capacity, so do your mesh according to your convenience. Now, let's perform the first analysis that is frontal impact analysis. Before that, what is frontal impact analysis? Analysis is performed in order to simulate the conditions or effect where the vehicle is hit on a wall or being hit at the rear or front part of another vehicle. It is done to find out the amount of bending stress or deformation taking place in front of the vehicle when the force is applied on the front members keeping rear members fixed. We consider certain assumptions and incorporate work energy theorem to calculate the force. I will attach some research papers for calculations in the description box. Do check it out. Now let's move to the analysis part. Now let's perform the analysis. Before that you can check here. There's a tick sign in the model that we have satisfied the conditions. Now let's move on to setup. In setup, we will set the boundary conditions that it's fixing on a particular end and applying load at the other end. So let's start analysis. Let's rename this with Now, moving on. Now we are gonna add a fixed support to the member, to the rear part. Let's choose the rotate tool here. Also, different kinds of tool you can see here, like there's pan for shifting the position of the model. There's rotate tool to rotate the model according to your application, and there's a free tool like single select where you can select the particular areas or particular faces. Basically, add a load to the frontal members. The force we have calculated. Now let's select the face. You can select it by pressing left click on the mouse. You can also select multiple faces by pressing Ctrl key together. 
let's select these four numbers let's insert more precisely we could apply it in the components form we're gonna add the force we have calculated so our force is acting on the x direction let's add the force now we are gonna apply a fixed support to the rear part as the impact is happening only in the frontal part and we're gonna fix the rear part as there is no impact of the force is happening so let's select it You can select the members in the same manner we had did in pose. So let's insert fix support. Here blue icon indicates the fix support also. Here the red icon indicates the force. Now we have the fixed support and force. These are the minimum requirements for any type of analysis. Now clicking on the solution, get the total deformation. Also, total stress. The major aim of our analysis is to get the total deformation and stress. You can add or insert another results according to your applications. Now we're gonna click the solve button as you can see here is the solver window it will solve the solution for us here we go and now you can see the total deformation acting on the 40 millimeters precisely you can have you can see how the load is acting on the frontal parts and the rear parts is fixed in blue colors also you can crop the results with maximum deformation and minimum deformation you can also see the stress generated in the body now i'll tell you one more thing that is let's say your material speed strength is 100 megapascal but it fail when normal stress above 100 megapascal is generated but you can redesign the analysis applying different loads and once it's below yield strength then only you can test the real lifetime model okay. you could also animate it basically wraps up from zero to maximum force click the play button it usually takes some time now you can see properly what's happening in each of it so guys this was the front and impact analysis similarly you can pro perform in your whole gauge also you can perform different analysis like rear impact analysis side impact analysis with the same manner as you will apply the load in the rear part in the impact analysis and fix the front and impact part also in side analysis you have to choose the different side you will add the load in the side protection member of one side of one end and fix the other. so this was all about the lecture we will cover more analysis in the next lecture till then bye bye and i will see you next time that's all in this video please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel ejs racers thank you